start with going through the Revit app. So, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can uh, use uh, the chat to send the questions. Uh, we will start with BIM object and Revit. And the aim of this BIM object talk is to understand how and why you should use the BIM object Revit app. What's the advantages of that? So what is the advantages of the BIM object Revit app? So we will start from the beginning in how to download the app. So we are here on the bimobject.com and we have the browse, the apps, the press and the info and so on. So if we click the app that will bring you to the right page and here we have the apps that we are I have uh, so we can download the Revit one here and uh, that will bring you to more specific, uh, specific uh, information about this app and if we then go further on and click download that will bring you back to the Autodesk App Store and it's here that we will need to download this app so if we click download it's a free download and you have to sign in with your with your Autodesk account. So I will down click here and then password and sign in and that will download this app. So I place it on my desktop here. If you double click on it and uh, we click yes to Make sure we can download it and this will show where it will be placed. Click next. So now I already have an app here so it will just overwrite. So I click yes, click install and this will install and then we have finish. So now it's installed. So here we are inside uh, Revit and here is the app. So we have the all the icons over here that will go through. We need to download, uh, we need to sign in first. So you can do that by using your BIM object, BIM object account, or you can use the Google, the LinkedIn, and also in a couple of weeks we will be able to have the Autodesk as well. So uh, for this, I will choose uh, the Google because I will link that to my BIM object account. And here, sign in. It's something that you only need to do once. It will rem uh, remember you as a user. And then over here, we do... Ooh. Sorry about that. This is for allow the app to have contact with this uh, application so they have access to the beam of the cloud and so on so allow access and then we have the apps over here so if I click browse this is where you will download the object from get to the beam of page we have the information you can check the information about the app we have the updates so we have the latest information we have properties. Here you can add uh, uh, properties to your BIM object and we have uh, update properties. We have the latest one and we have the BIM object mail and this is uh, communication from the manufacturer to the user. And also we have the settings and the help and also these product size which is predefined for these brands. So uh, let's start by uh, downloading something. I need to uh, write a wall here so I have something to place this object on. So I just create a fast wall here, go back to the BIM object and here I click browse. So here we are on the BIM object site. So it's already filtered so you only see the Revit content. So uh, I will choose the BSAM and uh, choose this door opener and here we are on the 
uh, this product page and we have description links related classifications and also the properties that we will add later so we click download and here you can choose so I download this Revit here and I place it onto my wall here we'll go to 3d view a little, little bit closer look at it so what we can do now is click on it I go back to the BIM object here and if I click on information this will bring me back to the product page so if I click on this one here here is the product page that we had before with all the descriptions and links if you would have some information about it we have the update so this is the product page is reflected on the objects so if the manufacturer have some updates they might have changed their product page in some way and uh, you would like and you have downloaded this before so then you need to update the object so you just don't need to re download it so let's say that this information has changed in some way so what you can do then is you click update up here and this will update everything inside the project so you don't need to select anything so here you have this object and if you have more objects it will show and then you can select which object you would like to update so if I click update here it will load a little bit and then it, this window will show it says that this object has been updated so this information here has then been reflected on the product page so it's up to date as you have here so next up is the properties so you can see here this is already UK Kobe type in them because uh, maybe you don't want to have all the all the information inside the object because you are not interested in UK Kobe well if you are you can add this later so if I go to the properties right here and here you can do an add properties so here you can see the different kind of properties so if I click on add properties for this UK Kobe type it will load these properties inside my objects I can shut this window down here and if I go into the edit type then these information are inside my object on the data here so that's just an easy way to have maybe not all information that you would like but you can choose if you're not interested or not in this information and then you have the update properties this make sure that you have the latest yes as update before So uh, next up we have the BIM mail and that's just a uh, communication tool from the manufacturer to the user. So what we will go after here is go inside and download the furniture so you have a look at the 3D preview. So if I click download again that will bring me back here. So I will go to browse. I will choose furniture. So you can do that by these icons here and then we can also type in the brand and here we can scroll down to get to choose one of these shares so I choose this one here and then we have a little bit a button here called 3D this is a preview of how the object can look you can do some modifications in a drop-down list here 
she is with or without arms for instance and then if you would like to see how it looks you click configure and this is a result so this is how it could look inside your object so you know before you download and uh, that's a, just a short introduction to how the Revit app uh, in conclusion we have the browse we have the information we have the updates we have the properties we have the update properties and the beam of bit mail all inside your Revit so this is key so uh, I hope that this has been helpful and uh, maybe maybe convince you to download the Beam Orbit app to uh, use it more frequently because it has some great advantage. So for uh, next week it will be Matthew who will talk in uh, the Beam, Beam process and where does Beam object fit in. Mm -hmm.